uh, person struggling to slaughter a cow there promises people heaven and earth. And people believe these characters, you know. Uh, I see this character uh, that is hijacking the revolution in our country. Um, and uh, he says we must accept what he says and it must not be challenged. And if you challenge the distortions he makes, including about our revolution, then you are attacking him personally. That's cult. But uh, he's got all the right to attack the ANC, uh, personally and otherwise. But when he's challenged on the distortion of the revolution and the things, he says, no, I'm being attacked by Mbalula. Mbalula is about himself. I mean, how can I be about himself? An example of me being about himself is him. Because I defended him. Uh, when I was minister and the president who was in charge, which was Jacob Zuma, didn't want him. I went with a ministerial position to defend him at the DC of the ANC. And then today he says I'm about himself. An example of me being about himself, about myself, it's him. Because I stood with him uh, in darkness and in difficult times. And I said to the ANC, don't expel this boy. And then they expelled him. I stood with him. Bam uh, For what they believed in. Now, bending as you are, but ANC na ending a koshwanga. I stood here. And their comrades who are flirting with him about our organization. That's what makes him think that he can tell us what to do. A 10% political party wants to tell us what to do in this country. And then he sees uni union buildings in his dreams. No, that I want to be in union building. In his dreams, yes. He will be in union building in his dreams. We will work to defend the revolution. We know why this revolution is under attack and assaulted. Malema is the biggest puppet in this country who represents the interest, who represents the interest of those who want to deal with what we call ANC majoritarian. We know that the ANC is not liked. The ANC must be wiped out of power. The ANC must be less than 50%. Malema is not working to be in the union building. He's working to decrease the majority of the African National Congress. We know his agenda. That's what he stands for. Because he will never win the majority of these people. He will eat in the, in the, in the same boat where the ANC is. He will eat there. We know that uh, that is the objective. The strategic objective is to eat from the majority of the ANC. That's why in 2016 they gave uh, Tuani to the DA. They gave Johannesburg to the DA. They gave uh, Port Elizabeth to the DA. We must, as the ANC, review this marriage we have with them here in Johannesburg. We must. We must review that marriage we have here. We can't go with people who want to see us out of power. No, no, see I'm not here again. See us, here is the enemy. And then when we meet with them after the election, that will be it. We can't be in power and give power. Let's go back to the benches and work, comrades. See, I'm not going to be And this political party and cult. We must not. The ANC must review its marriage with the EFF, which is not even clearly defined. We can't explain this nonsense. We can't explain it on political terms. We only explain it on the basis of our own interest. But on principle, we can't explain it. We must go back to the trenches and convince our people to vote for the African National Congress. That's what we must do. 
we must not go with our with our hat in the cap and back for the EFF. Uh, we are beggars. Ramaphosa was able to tell Europeans and everybody under one roof that we are not beggars. <laughs> Our president has been mauled and assaulted and destroyed, embarrassed and attacked by a cult. Zimkile, they are gone. We must review that marriage and we'll table it in the ANC and we'll look at it. What do we stand to benefit from this? Politically, we have been assaulted here. And that is what is important, we must understand. The ANC majority is the biggest threat to our enemies. They want us down, comrades. They want us below 50%. They, will be as they are assisted by these ones. That the ANC must go down. We are busy here with things that we ourselves can't explain, Comrade Nomantu. Nasi span, Panyaza must continue. Nasi span, week in and week out. The ANC is delivering. They can take us to court, they can do anything. Nasi span. <laughs> Comrades, we are in the trenches. I left government, I went to contest for SG. Nina Nisaban. Jigula Lutuli House, Kutima Kunjalo. I'm there. Because our future, comrades, is, in, is not in the distant horizon. It's what we do today. We must go full out in the trenches and work for the victory of the African National Congress. We can't be threatened by small boys. Small boys. Who can't even slaughter a cow? <laughs> we can't be threatened by small boys. You know, he speaks about to put out Tabam Dindo and Olu Gam. Olu Gam na. Tabu Bonu Bum Yama. He doesn't qualify. I didn't go to a hospital. Zang and I spent the lemna. And a Zang and Abu Baleku put out Tabu Mela. Yes. Man. And uh, I'm proud of that. But the fact of the matter is that they have never gone through the route I've gone. And they will never repeat it. And they must understand that. Between a man and a boy. See, as comrade. You must never. You must be united. You must lead. You must not be afraid. As in supporting Oba and Jesse, a supporter because you are the contributors to this revolution. Youth League for Negibo Nagale, Kutikona, Magushugu, Megubo Nagale, Ninga Lekunje, Post. We want to be ministers, MECs, and all of that. Lead the revolution of young people. Lead it. And don't be afraid to engage the ANC with ideas. Because we in the ANC, some of us forget where we come from. And it's